Arizona's baseball team is more than ready to see another opponent after not being able to see the field for 11 months. They're ready to hit the ground running as they open their season at home this weekend. Yeah, definitely. I feel like you try to make it as game-like as possible during the air squads, but just to face like another team is like very rewarding. Like our team puts in so much work and so many hours and like throughout the whole year we've been practicing kind of for like this season and just to finally have another team over there and to all be on one side is really exciting. So we've always been kind of like going against each other and I can't wait to see like how good our team is with like both sides on one team going against one of them. So it's going to be really fun. I realize how important this is to me, but I think sometimes the players may not always. And then when it gets taken away from you, you have great appreciation for it. And I think the fact that it has been so long that there was an incomplete feeling to last season, I think they have responded tremendously in terms of the work that they did on their own and the preparation that we've had in terms of the fall and here early in the spring. And, and we're really excited to get somebody else in the, in the other dugout and compete. And um, I know they're looking forward to it. I, my one pitch at a time mentality, I'm excited about the next three practices that we have but I know we're all, all really charged up to, to get, have an opportunity to win a game. One thing these players had to get used to at the beginning of the pandemic was just being a student. Without workouts or practice, they had no more structure to their day, so they had to take things into their own hands. You guys handle it really well. Uh, we have a very mature staff here and a very mature like all-around team. Um, a lot of the guys... I know put a lot of work in. We would constantly check up on each other and stuff, and they were either working out, hitting, uh, pitchers were either throwing or doing some arm care stuff or mobility stuff just to get their body right because it wasn't really sure of how long we would be out for, but it would just be like, okay, how soon? Like, what can I do today to get my body better for tomorrow because you never know when we're going to come back. So the guys ended up really well, and like a couple of guys picked up jobs and everything just to keep busy. And also like to be able to help out their families. So they did that. Um, but yeah, no, I'd say everybody did their job very well. Did you get a job as well? Uh, yeah, I had two jobs. I uh, worked at Sprouts Farmers Market and then I worked for my dad's construction company. Coach Jay Johnson announced his three starting pitchers for this weekend, highlighted by newcomer Chase Silseth, who will have the ball Friday night. Senior pitcher Preston Price explains why Silseth's someone to look out for this season. I'd say, yeah, definitely there's a lot of new guys on the staff, um, a lot of returners as well. But um, I'd say somebody to keep your eyes on right now would be obviously uh, Chase Silseth. He's he's legit. Um, I mean, every guy on this pitching staff is very good. They bring a lot of good stuff to the program and everything. So I would say just keep your eyes on as many people as possible. With snow impacting many different parts of the country, Johnson's hopeful Arizona will be able to play all of their games, but ready to pivot if needed. Yeah, I've actually had two calls this morning if we were still on for this weekend of teams wanting to play. I think uh, the first thing is, is you know, we're very supported. Uh, our baseball program is well supported and from an administration standpoint. I've talked to Dave Hickey a lot about it. Uh, we have a committee of a few people uh, Derek Vandermeer, Erica Barnes, uh, Dr. Paul, um, that we will work together to make these decisions based on what we are and aren't going to do, whether it's bringing a team here. Yeah, I had a team that said, hey, if you just give us a call and line up the, the guarantee and we'll get on a plane and come out there if, if something were to happen with our series. So, um, you know, I think you'll see maybe there might be a delay in a start. Maybe you play four games in three days or three games in two days, if, if something like that were to happen. But I'm comfortable with the process that we have. I just have made a commitment to our players that we're going to press forward, you know, in our program. That's going to be our stance. If there's a way to play, we're going to play. And uh, we certainly can't control our opponents or the outside of it. I know Coach Maloney is excited about his team, and they're excited to get out here in the warm weather and uh, and compete against us. So, I'm optimistic that we're going to be on schedule uh, as is, but if you got to change, you got to change. And, and judging by this, this chain of emails that's going on amongst division one coaches right now, <laughs> you can already see, you know, the disruptions happening in terms of series and games getting canceled. As of now, Arizona series against Ball State is set to begin on Friday at High Corbett Field. First pitch is scheduled for 6 p.m. 
for GoEasyCats.com, I'm Kelly Harzen.